Hi, um, my name is Jerome Higgins. I'm uh, in the Navy here serving uh, in Japan. Um, I'm on my last tour here in Japan. I'm about to retire. I have 19 years, uh, two months in, so I have 10 months to go before uh, I retire at uh, 20 years. Um, I plan on going back to uh, the States when I'm done here, but uh, my comment I want to make is uh, concerning the presidential race right now. Um, as you can see, I'm for uh, Senator Obama, and the reason why is because I haven't voted um, in a very long time. Matter of fact, I haven't voted for any presidential candidates at all. Uh, the last time I voted was when uh, Harold Washington was running for mayor in Chicago uh, some way back years. Um, and the reason why I voted then was because uh, he, he did something that inspired millions of uh, Chicagoans to come out and vote. And uh, that was the big pitch back then to get out the vote and, and and to get someone into government that would do something for the people and thought about the people and that's what has inspired me here with uh, Senator Obama uh, he has inspired me like no one else has in politics um, he whether he was black white woman Mexican, whoever, because he is Obama, not because he's black, is the reason why I'm voting for him. If Hillary Clinton was like him, I would vote for her instead of Obama. Because Obama signifies to me what I desire to be a leader. And I've seen over the last almost 20 years some very good leadership and some very poor leadership in the military. And I can tell you, I know the difference uh, when you see a good leader. Uh, he doesn't have military experience, but that's not required for the presidency. And neither should it should be. Um, the presidency is a, is a, a very high office that uh, constitutionally doesn't require any prior military experience because he's required to have a cabinet and a secretary of, which includes the secretary of defense and uh, he has numerous advisors and consuls so it's not a requirement he has a joint chiefs of staff I mean it's not a requirement that he has military experience but as a good leader it should be a requirement that he has that experience surrounding him and advising him and I'm pretty sure he would be excellent at doing that uh, because he's shown it in his campaign that he's able to bring a lot of different class of people intellectually uh, uh, with good backgrounds and bring them together to do a campaign that is phenomenal. I mean I've never seen a campaign like this. I mean he's r rolling over Senator Clinton who has uh, all this experience and, and know-how and years of service uh, in politics and he's rolling all over her. and to me for the American people that should be a big indicator of uh, his leadership style and, and, and quality I mean come on look at it if you have someone that started out as a nobody and now ends up as a front runner over a candidate who was just the long, uh, I mean, who was just the given to uh, wrap this thing up early because of her uh, vast money and experience and knowledge about uh, Washington. For her to be in a position like this, 
shows you that this man has some pretty, pretty good uh, ability in organizing and leading. So you want that kind of person in the White House, and I know I do. So um, that's my pitch for uh, Senator Obama. I hope that the American people, which they are showing, uh, uh, vote for this 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 guy and put him in office. And uh, to those people who uh, you know may look at him just for his color or for his background or his inexperience. All I can say to you is you need to spend some time in the military and you will know what inexperience your leadership has, uh, how bad they can lead and uh, how just absolutely uh, 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 discouraging it is when you see uh, the type of leadership within the military. Uh, so any of you who are, I would say, racist about this or, or have any doubts about his religion or whatever, you need to do some studying. You need to really look at some material that would give you some insight. I've read both of his books and uh, been on his website and I've read his policies and stuff like that I mean to get a, a really good insight of your candidate you really need to study him and uh, most Clinton supporters I know know nothing about her they don't donate to her campaign which is why she's broke and Senator Obama gets 30 40 50 million a month in, in donations because they don't vote for her I mean, they don't donate. They don't know her. You know, I, I I never met the man before in my life, and I know his mom was from Kansas and his father's from Kenya, and I read both of his books, which gave me some great insight into his thinking. And uh, he's from Chicago, South Side High Park. Um, you know, forty-six years old. I mean, and I donated to his campaign every month, and uh, that's what you have to do if you really want to uh, get involved in your candidate and into politics. And uh, I look at the web sites uh, every day, all the news um, station uh, websites, uh, and I stay up to date as to what's going on. And uh, those are the things you need to do. So. I would encourage those who have any doubt about him and uh, uh, you know any kind of racist type attitudes. I hear a lot of people think he's a Muslim, stuff like that. Really read and get involved more. The internet is a perfect source of information if you just get on the internet and, and look around. So um, that's all I have to say. So. Thank you all, and uh, I hope you have a good day. And uh, go Obama.